it's a nice breezy day so it's blowing all the smoke away and uh, if being able to pivot the lid sideways is better than I took the handle off and that makes it easy to just look in there and yeah it's uh, it's better than tipping it back you don't get all that heat blast so yeah the whole setup's working well I think this will be okay <laughs> well I hope so anyway we'll soon see well I've cooled it down will it come out that's the million dollar question problem. Absolutely no problem at all. Perfect. Well that looks a lot better doesn't it? You know, you can get the sand end very level but anyway that won't matter. Well that looks pretty damn good. Yeah came out of the mould piss easy. So there's the brass slug that uh, looks okay. Oh, well, I'll saw it off and see what it looks like inside. Spin it up and see what it looks like. bad imperfection there there's some there but it's looking a lot better I think next time I will pour it hotter I poured it this time as soon as it was melt molten and I heated the mold and it came out of the mold no problem whatsoever so next time I will pour it hotter and do the same thing and I reckon that might be the answer but yeah I mean that's usable you know pretty good really well actually yeah there's one tiny imperfection just there but really it's all not too bad it's not bad at all yep I think we're on the on the uh home straight now not bad for a bit of old uh, crappy brass you know scraps looking good well I've bumped up the temperature heated the mold a lot hotter 
and we'll see what happens this time. There we go, another slag. Hmm, not bad. So here's the first cast with the blemish there. Not bad, it's usable. And here's the second one I did. I banged up the temperature. And there's an imperfection there. And I machined out any outside imperfections. And I've got a nice usable piece of brass there. I mean, that's not too bad. That's come up pretty damn good. So yeah, it's successful. It's definitely, well, it saves some money there for a start. I mean, you go and buy that, what would that cost you, you know? So it's definitely worthwhile exercise. It's definitely working. Now, the high temperature did help. Getting the mould hotter did help. Once again, it came out of this mould, no problem. This is cast iron. I haven't tried it in steel, but... It came to cast iron, no problems at all. This is an old slave cylinder for a clutch master cylinder. And what I might do now is I might put a cap on the end of it. So what I might do is get a machine up a cap I can slide over it uh, or something that will lock on. And what I can do is I can pour the brass into it, the same as I have been doing, preheat the mould, Pour, pour the brass in, um, but do it with the cap on, on the end, and do it with the, with the mould in the vent tube in the, in the lid. That gets it red hot. Well, it, well while it's in the lid, it actually get, it glows red hot for most of it, the rest of the way. So that will get everything as hot as you can be, and it will also keep the brass in a molten state and uh, yeah leave it in there cooking for you know a few minutes take it out and see what that does i reckon that would probably get rid of any cavities you got in there i think that everything would stay liquid a little bit of dross can come to the top if there is any and uh, i think that is going to be the final solution i think that's the answer yep cook it in the uh, in the vent breather pipe but anyway, for now, I'm pretty pleased with all this. It's uh, <clears throat> it's certainly been a worthwhile exercise, and yeah, the fumes weren't too bad. If you do it outside, it's not a real problem. Just hold your breath, and you get some decent brass out of it. But uh, yeah, so that was good. This is a lot better, and hopefully the next one will be 100%. But it's all it's all money saver. Okay, well look, that's it for me. Uh, needless to say, the furnace is yep, first class. And once again, thanks to Neil for sending me down that burn. And that's a fantastic piece of kit. It really does the job. Okay, hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. Get out there and have a go. See you next time. Cheers.